Hello, uh, my name is Howie. I work for Dropbox as a, on the de developer tools team. I got into Scala sometime around 2012. So this was in college. Um, the path I got into Scala was kind of winding. So I had done a bunch of programming before college. In college, I started doing web work. So like server-side, client-side, web database stuff. Um, and one of the things that struck me back then was it was, it was really difficult to make a website, like a really simple website. And even, and I think one, it wasn't difficult, it wasn't that the logic was difficult, it's that the tools that you had for making the website weren't actually very good. Like back then I was using PHP and you were splicing strings and using SQL. Um, and so it occurred to me that, hey, it would be nice if you had better tools for working on this kind of thing, like better tools for writing the front end, better tools for writing the server. And so I jumped around to a bunch of tri different things. I tried doing web work in Python, Django. Um, I tried doing some web work in C Sharp. Um, and after experimenting a bit, I eventually found that doing web work in Scala was what, what I liked the best. And I, I came to Scala through like PHP, Python, Ruby, C Sharp, Java, F Sharp, and eventually I came to Scala and decided, well, I've tried all these other things and this one seems like it's the best fit for what I want to do. And I, since then, I've more or less stuck with it. It's hard to say what my ideal stack is. Um, currently, what I think is most promising for doing web work is, or like web programming with client server, is Scala with Scala.js. Um, so how it compares to the more traditional Python JavaScript is, it lets you, it lets you, fix, it lets you avoid all the basic errors much more easily. So rather than, trying to, rather than spending your time worrying about the typos in your JavaScript or typos in your Ajax calls, you, all that stuff gets handled for you and you can spend your time thinking about high level things like abstractions or performance or um, query, pa query patterns and that sort of thing. Um, of course, there's also a downside where Scala compiles a million times slower than Python compiles. So there's some downside and it's not clear which one is more ideal. But right now, I think that the Scala and Scala.js are probably the best I could ask for working on the web. A talk or a personal company I was looking forward to at this conference. I, I, I was looking forward to the final panel tomorrow. That one had a bunch of in, pe people from different industry place, from different places in the industry. And I'm curious how it's worked out in other places and what their opinions on the language is. Um, so far, my own experience has been largely as a hobbyist, which is, apart from being very different from what the people in academia do, is also very different from what people in industry and how it works out for them. So I'm curious to see what, how it, what, what their opinions are. <laughs>